Stella Donnelly gave us a corker of an album in 2019 with some of the best tracks of that year. An album that at first I liked a lot but grew on me over time. Tracks like Lunch, Boys Will Be Boys, absolute stellar, haha, <laughs> stellar, stellar songs. Uh, but my personal favourite ended up being Tricks. I think that's still an absolute indie rock jam with some of the funniest lyrics of that year. And it just immediately shone through with a personality that you couldn't really point to amongst her peers of like indie singer-songwriters. I don't think there are as many that are quite as funny as Stella when she's at her best and also not as poignant and as straight to the point as Stella as well when she's at her most emotional. So yeah, I think Stella actually carved a lane for herself immediately um definitely had a style that was unmatched compared to other artists coming out at the similar time i think she was one to watch for the future after that album so naturally i was of course anticipating and very excited for flood while it is a pretty solid follow-up to beware of the dogs i definitely think it's quite a step down to be honest i was looking forward to more of that personality and that character shining through with those really great snippets of uh, humor and sarcasticness that she had from beware of the dogs but it hasn't really quite traveled through onto this album and that's okay she's gone for something a bit different she's stripped back quite a lot of the tracks to a more sort of ballad um style which i don't necessarily mind because like i say when she's at her best she's very poignant and she's very stark with her lyrics but actually on this album even some of that's not um, as present as her last one. Now it starts off really well for me. I think the first two tracks bop really nicely and um, there's some solid tunes. They're not like the catchiest tunes but they're quite subtle and she has a way of making her vocals like slide along with the tracks quite well. Like the first track particularly, um, Lungs, I feel like the rhythm to her vocals just fits the instrumental really nicely. Of course her Aussie accent um, you know, stands out above most other things with her vocals. Like it's so obvious where she's from. And it gives her quite a nice uh, personality, which I like, you know, not many singers let their accent seep through in such a strong way. I mean, there aren't that many artists out there that tend to really let that come through. There's only a select few often when, you know, even British people sing, they sound American. It's a really weird thing. I feel like everyone just ends up sounding American when they sing. But some singers just go all out and just let that accent really come through. And I, I love it. I, I, it makes them stand out. It makes them have a uniqueness to them that not many other singers end up having. So that's all still there. Um, I think there's still some of those kind of self-deprecating lyrics as well, where she says that it's not loving if you're not faking it, <laughs> which is a very, very depressing way to put something. The second track as well sort of alludes to this idea that maybe there's a bit of a uh, breakup on the way and you're kind of like forcing yourself to ask the other person how their day is and things like that. Maybe that's not entirely what she's going for, but that's sort of what I pulled out from the track lyrically. Um, I love the spoken word part as well. She literally sounds like the guy from Black Country New Road on this bit, like Black Country New Road Australian edition. But yeah, after this, a few tracks string together that go for that piano sort of sound. And they're okay, but they're not really that captivating. And the issue I have with songs like this is when you really strip things back, you really need to pull in the listener. And if you're not emotionally connected or attached to the way the singer is singing, or the way the instrumental sounds, um, or even, you know, the lyrics. Um, although I wouldn't necessarily say anything bad about the lyrics, I just don't feel that attached to these kinds of songs. And I don't know if Stella is bringing me in. She's not doing enough to bring me in. They just sound pretty standard and okay. I just feel like a, the bare minimum is being done really here. Like she's just making an okay song and not really doing anything else. They're not bad, but I just expect actually a lot more from Stella. I feel like there is more to her than these kinds of tracks. I just would expect a bit more of an interesting instrumental palette. Maybe the vocals could have been a bit more powerful. Like I say, on the last album, there were powerful vocal moments that really, really took you in. But these slower tracks on this album, 
again, just feel like she's slipping into comfort mode and doing the bare minimum. This week is an okay track. Um, again, though, uh, speaking of that character and the personality, it's not really shining through. I was expecting a bit more oomph from the vocals on tracks like this, because again, her last album had that. Maybe I'm doing too much comparing to the last album, and maybe she didn't want to do the same thing again. But it's really hard not to compare when, you know, you've heard her do things similar before and it was actually done better previously. It's, it's one of those really frustrating situations. Now, Morning Silence is the track for me that really, really hits hardest because she goes back and goes into the cutthroat lyrics that are just really deep and straight to the point. She's asking really uh, disturbing questions like, is it a pipe dream to want my children to wake up and never hear a woman screaming? I mean, goodness gracious, what a line that is. And these are the kind of lines that I just expected Stella to drop out of nowhere because that's what she was doing before. And it's just very cutthroat, it's very deep and gets right to the point immediately in a very Fiona Apple, Tori Amos kind of way. You've heard tracks from those artists in the past do a very similar thing. And when it's so direct like that, and it's not just vague and, you know, um, buzzwordy that songs like this can end up sounding like, it really, really hits hard. And she does such a good job on this track. What also is weird about this track as well, that it doesn't sound very sad, despite the fact that she is saying pretty like awful things about um you know being in the middle of the night and you know some guy coming in like things like that like she's going into real detail but the the matching of the the the, the sort of sound of the song is quite weird but it, it makes it all that more disturbing the fact that it's not a really slow song um, this could have been just a stripped back piano ballad, but it isn't. And that's what makes this song even weirder. But it's stuff like this I think Stella is really good at. You don't necessarily want to be hearing these lyrics, but when you do, it really takes you by surprise. And that's what I thought Stella was the best at with her music. It closes out nicely as well. I thought the piano chords and cold worked really well with the track. There was um, a nice pace with the way this song moves along. Stella's voice sounds really cute and works again with... Um, the instrumental here. A bit more personality coming through, which is what I'd expect from Stella. So I do like this track and I do like quite a few tracks across this album. It's just more often than not, I feel like I'm waiting for something more uh, exciting or more engaging to come through. Because like I say, I feel like she isn't hitting her potential with this because we've heard her make, make fantastic songs in the past. So I'm going to go 6 out of 10, a bit disappointing, but I don't think it's bad by any means. I still think there's worthwhile tracks here and I still think overall it's pretty good. Um, maybe just expectations got the better of me on this one. But let me know your thoughts on this album. If you agree with me, if you think it's a step up or a step down, what you think the best track is and what you think of my thoughts. Thank you for watching as always. Please subscribe if you haven't already and goodbye.